So we've got a BMW E92 um, 2007. The current battery that was on the vehicle was a 70. We've put a 90 on now. However, there are two various different options. If you're going to put the same battery capacity on there, like it, this was 70. And if you're going to put a 70 on, then you just go into the hot functions, battery, and then uh, register F2. That's it as you can see look 70 so if i was going to do the same then i'd just press f1 however if you've done what this customer's done and bought the original which is a 90 ah then you can't really press f2 because it's not going to work it needs programming so what you need to do is come back out of here and 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 go into programming this is where you need to do it on the retro fit so after obviously clicking on it it comes up with this i, I usually just put no anyway and then it should direct us to the different options in a second so when you get onto here um obviously there's different options but the one that you need to go into is this one here retrofit and conversions and then from here obviously previous owner had done that now what we've got is this one and that's what we need to do so after that you then uh, it tells you on you yeah, you go from 70 to 90 and you click that and then it says you've got to connect to the internet which we have as you can see that there so press ok now it's just going to wait for the file to be downloaded shouldn't take long there we are and then it's just going to start doing its job afterwards as well here we go so disconnect the hang up and so, yep, we've got that. Yep, that's fine. Carry on. So, it will start doing its job one by one. Um, after it's all done, it will then update the system. So, here it is. It's telling us to take the key out. Turn the ignition off, as you can see. It'll now tell us to put the key back in and turn the ignition on. Um, let it do its bit. There we go. So, yeah, you set the key and ignition on. Here we go. So it's just clearing all the faults that are stored in the memory of the vehicle. So like if you've got any problem with the engine or ABS. So it's telling us to do this again. Key out. So that's going to do the final update. Now we put the key back in. There we go. Ignition on. So, end session. It's all done as far as I can see. There we are. And then to confirm that you have had, well, the, the system has been updated, what you need to do is um, you can go on hot functions again. And now go on to the battery, register the battery. And here should, so display uh, register the battery let's just do the register battery f2 so as you can see before it was coming up as 70 ah now it's going up as 90 so that means it's been updated and it's now registered and if your vehicle is a start and stop that will have also stored as well so if you go into a traffic light and you stop you should switch off the vehicle and then when you press close you should start again okay